everybody welcome back to the channel um, so it's Easter weekend happy Easter to everybody uh, so it's clear out and uh, I'm gonna be doing some imaging tonight haven't quite decided what I'm going to be imaging um, I'm going over to families for, uh, for Easter dinner and when I get home probably around 11 12 o'clock I'm gonna come out to the backyard I got everything set up well almost everything I just got to hook up my laptop and pull the line and away we go but um, tonight is going to be the perfect opportunity to uh, to use my new camera my new astronomy camera dedicated astronomy camera um, it is the Altair Astro 183 it is on extended loan from a fellow YouTuber. Um, he wanted to remain nameless. Uh, and uh, yeah, he, uh, he he's loaning me this. Um, so, uh, and he, he gave me a couple of filters as well. Um, the gesture completely caught me off guard and totally by surprise. Um, I've been wanting a dedicated astronomy camera for a while, but uh, they they can be quite pricey depending you know depending on your situation. But uh, as you all know, I've been using a DSLR for uh, ever since I started, and um, now I have the opportunity to uh, to use a dedicated astronomy camera. So uh, this is the Altair Astro 183C. Um, it's got a little bit smaller. Of a viewing uh, field of view than my DSLR uh, not by much but there, there's a little bit there but um, I'm just I'm just happy to be using a dedicated astronomy camera so um, this one is fan cooled it's not um, in Altair Astro's case they call it tech cooling uh, ASI air or ASI ZWO they they just refer to them as cooled cameras um, where you can actually program what you want the sensor to be cooled to, whereas this you can't. It's just it's just cooled. Whatever the ambient temperature is, um, it draws air through the fins here, and uh, there's a fan here, and it um, it cools the heat sink that's on on the chip or on the bottom of the chip. Um, so I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what this thing can do. Uh, I've heard a lot of really good things about it, that it's a very sensitive sensor. I believe uh, it's a Sony IMX um, sensor, and uh, I've read up that they're they're very, very good. Um, again, sensitive, so you can get away with, from what I've been reading and hearing, um, like if you don't have auto guiding like I do here, um, you can get away with, you can do very quick exposures like 20, 30 seconds and still achieve excellent detail in deep sky objects. So, uh, like I said, I'm, I just got to get it all uh, focused in and everything. And uh, hopefully we're going to have a, a good night of imaging. Um, again, I haven't decided what, what I'm going to be imaging, but um, hopefully I can, uh, I can do some nebulae or maybe just because this is my first time using it. It's basically my first light with this. Um, I might go for a little bit easier of a target just so I can get used to using uh, a dedicated astronomy camera because they are quite different than using a DSLR. There's a little bit more of a learning curve. Um, I've had it hooked up to the computer and I've been playing around with it in my basement and all that. But uh, the real test is being out here um, under the night sky. So all I gotta do is wait for it to get dark, um, come back from family dinner, and uh, get to some imaging. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I just can't, I, I'm really stoked. I'm really stoked about, about this camera and using it. So anyways, I'm gonna sign off here for a little bit and we'll get back to you in a little while when I get home and uh, get everything set up and start imaging.
everybody. Okay, uh, <laughs> again, it's been a few days uh, since I was out, uh, since Sunday. It's now Wednesday. Um, I apologize. I honestly, I really do mean to take you along with me when I'm all set up and I'm imaging and all that stuff. It's just I, playing with a new toy, the new camera. Um, I ran into some guiding issues and uh, I just, I didn't document, I didn't document it. And I know I should be, I should be documenting everything I possibly can on my journey. Um, all the successes, all the failures, all the troubles along the way, um, all the processes of figuring stuff out with new equipment and, uh, and I didn't do it. And I apologize. I'm really trying to get better at making these videos to provide as much information to everybody as possible. But um, it just, it's not that it slipped my mind. I just maybe, I just got lazy and plus it was late. Um, I didn't want to be out there talking when my family's inside the house sleeping. By the time I really got up and running and I figured everything out, it was close to around quarter to two in the morning. So I really didn't want to wake anybody up or take the chance of waking anybody up with me talking. Because um, I would probably have to talk at this level for the microphone on the phone to uh, to pick it up. But anyway, uh, that being aside, um, once I got everything figured out, uh, it was great. It was great. Um, now, mind you, I still have to learn a lot about what the different settings do, like uh, gain, offset um, uh, binning, uh, basically binning, uh, brightens the image and they talk about how full, like some of these settings have to deal with how full the, the well for each pixel on the sensor is. And I believe the camera that I have is a, uh, it, it's a 12 bit sensor. Um, so all those settings have to do with how f how full the well gets or i think the offset does or something like that i still have to read up on it but like i was shooting my uh, i was capturing images at um bin two by two i believe it was at a gain of five thousand where normally i see people and they got a gain of you know no more than 200 or 300 i was i, I was imaging at gain five thousand but i think it was because I wanted to see stuff appearing on the screen. Uh, luckily, I didn't overexpose the images that I took. Um, and I did finally decide to go with, uh, I did two targets. I was just playing around. I, I shot, uh, I imaged one target, um, the great globular cluster in Hercules, which I've, I've imaged before with my DSLR. But the uh, I wanted to try it with the dedicated astronomy camera to see uh, see the difference, and the difference is quite remarkable. Um, and I was just waiting for uh, the other target to come up above the trees uh, in my backyard, which was M twenty seven, the Dumbbell Nebula. I don't know if you can see it just right on my screen here, um, but I will supply a uh, a picture of both uh, the globular cluster and uh, m27 at the end of the video so you know please stay uh please stay tuned to that um and uh i just like to thank everybody for joining me on this journey um i'm almost at three or 260 subscribers um which is it's mind-blowing actually to to think that you know <laughs> almost 260 people follow me on youtube so that's pretty cool um, but anyway, I am going to, when I get out next time, I promise I'm going to bring you along w for the experience. Uh, I'm going to set up some lights. I'm going to, uh, and I'm going to record pretty much everything that I do. Um, it's, it, it, I just, I have to, because I want to give you the information that you're looking for. If it's helpful, if it's not, if you're just using it for entertainment purposes, just something to watch, put in the background, whatever. Um, but I do want to make the best videos that I can possibly. So um, uh, next time I'm out, uh, I will be bringing you along with me. Um, doesn't matter what time. Uh, I, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter what time. It could be three in the morning, whatever. 
um, I'm going to start documenting uh, everything that I can. So with that, I'm going to end this video uh, and I'm going to be having pictures here at the end of uh, the globular cluster and M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. Um, some people call it the Apple, Apple Core Nebula. Uh, I'm torn. <laughs> I'm torn. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoy the images. Hope everybody's having uh, a great week. And uh, thanks for coming along on this journey with me. And we'll talk to you later and clear skies.